Hey guys, it's the 24th of May in 2024, and I'm here in Sunny Beach in the southeast of Bulgaria. So today I'm going to do you a guided tour, and I'm going to tell you information about the prices here in Sunny Beach Northside. Right now today I've come up to the north side of Sunny Beach where you have all the luxury hotels, and I'm going to tell you about all the excursions that you can do and day trips that you can do here from Sunny Beach during your holiday. I'm going to give you as much information as possible as well and just take you for a walk around the north side of sunny beach i'm also going to give you some tips and tricks how you can save money when you're here and just some general advice about where, before you come to sunny beach so i can save you some money so straight ahead you can see the stand selling excursions there's lots of shops like this in kiosks selling excursions up and down so don't just jump in and buy the excursion compare the prices in all different ones and go on a website called get your guide or via tour and check the prices of excursions online as well before you book anything so um one of the most popular excursions here is the istanbul excursion um istanbul is around four hours away uh, from here in sunny beach it is the biggest city in turkey with 12 million people there are so many things to see and do in istanbul it's absolutely fascinating and that is one of the best excursions you can do when you're here in bulgaria so they pick you up at your hotel it's done by coach it's a shared trip and you stay for either one night or two nights the price varies depending on how many nights you want and what accommodation option you want but um all the travel agents here offer the istanbul trip it's an early morning pickup as well and um it's well worth doing but there is a delay sometimes at the border going from bulgaria into turkey and you do have to pay for a visa at that border as well i believe it will cost you about 10 or 15 pounds for the visa to enter turkey um so you do have to pay that on top of the price of the excursion so you've also got the catamaran cruise you can see there on the top left hand side that would be really really nice for a day out on the boat um you've got the boat party which is only on during the peak season i think it starts in about the middle of june so that's for um groups of hen parties and stag parties and party people going out on a boat party where you get one hour free drinks open bar um whiskey gin rum beer vodka and your drinks are free for one hour and then you pay one price that's all inclusive with some free shots and the idea is that you meet some new people on the boat party and they have a party out at sea um, so that will um, depart from the center of sunny beach near to the pier um, probably from the pier area so other trips you can go to the botanical gardens you can see on the bottom right side um, you can get car rentals here as well um, the picture on the top right is for for the normal safari there's two types of safari uh, there's the normal safari where you can see the cars here the yellow cars going through the countryside and the mountains there and you can also do the jeep safari which you can see on the bottom left that's the jeep safari just there let me just focus in so the jeep safari is one of the best excursions you're going to do when you're here i believe it's about one hour away from sunny beach in a countryside area up in the mountains and some of the views are breathtaking on the jeep safari uh, you can see all kinds of things they saw some snakes etc when they're out there um, another day trip you can do is a direct day trip to Varna which is one and a half hours away from here um, Varna is the third biggest city in Bulgaria it's a university city famous for the universities and the medical university there uh, Varna has a lovely sea garden and the best go-karting track in Bulgaria is there in Varna as well I definitely recommend you see Varna it's one of the best cities in Bulgaria you can also see the Blue Mountains. You can see them there on the um, on the cable car. And Sozopol is one of the best cities to see in Bulgaria. It's an ancient city and it's on a peninsula going out into the sea. So I do recommend you a day trip to Sozopol. You can book an excursion through these tour shops here or you can just go to Nesabar and you can get a boat to Sozopol from Nesabar. And a lot of people are just doing the boat trip out to Sozopol themselves. Um, another option with the Varna trip here is you can get the bus from Sunny Beach bus station. Um, it goes every hour and it takes one hour, 40 minutes on the bus. So you can just do it yourself for a very, very cheap price. I believe it's about 10 level, which is about five pounds to get to Varna. And if you want to visit Burgas, which is another big city, one hour away, one hour bus ride away from here. Um, Burgas is a city with 300,000 people by the seaside and you can visit Burgas by bus from here. There are buses every 20 minutes going to Burgas from Sunny Beach. So I recommend you a day trip to see Burgas with it being a real Bulgarian city. 
that's not just a tourist city that is where people live for the whole year there in Burgas and they have a lovely sea garden there in Burgas as well so in terms of the weather today it's been about 24 degrees today um, the skies are clear uh, it's absolutely perfect weather right now I've looked at the weather for the next week into the end of May and I've extended my holiday because the weather has been absolutely perfect and um, it's the most lovely time to be here at the end of May. It's not too, too hot like um, in the summer, July and August. It can be 30 degrees or 32 degrees. Um, but right now in May time, end of May, the weather is just perfect. You can go out. You still need to wear sun cream, by the way. And when you buy your sun cream, bring your own sun cream with you from Great Britain, from the country you come from, because sun cream is very, very expensive here in Sunny Beach. It will cost you 25 or 30 lever for a sun cream here, which is like 12 pounds or something. So for example, in Poland, I bought my sun cream there. It cost me two euro for a big sun cream from Rossmann shop. So if you're coming from Poland, buy your sun cream maybe from Rossmann shop where it is very, very cheap. Uh, if you're coming from Great Britain, you can go to Savers or all the normal shops to buy your sun cream and you can buy it for about two or three pounds for a sun cream. That also applies to after sun. After sun is also expensive here. Things like um, hay, feet, hay fever tablets are expensive here as well. So bring that stuff with you from home. Prepare before you travel and the things that are expensive here, just bring them with you in your suitcase. Um, so in terms of changing money, now look at the sign there. It's buy and sell. So lots of the tourists are confused about the money here and changing their money. So in terms of changing your money, there's a sign there and you can see a price on the sign and it says GBP 2.29. But when you go into the shop to change your money, you actually get 2.16, you don't get 2.29. That's because that's the sell rate, not the buy rate. When you change your money, it is buy and it is sell, buy and sell. So don't get confused between the two. When you change your money here in Bulgaria, I recommend that you go to one of the banks in the city center on Flower Street. If you go to Flower Street in the city center, hello, hey, <coughs> how's it going? Uh, yeah, if you go to um, Flower Street in the city center, you can go to one of the banks like the Cooperative Bank or the FI Bank on Flower Street, an official bank. You do have to bring your passport or your ID or they will not let you change your money without your passport or your ID. And you will get a very, very good rate changing your money in the bank. So um, I do recommend you use the bank to change your money. You can also use um, a, a, a card that applies to foreign currencies like Revolut or Monzo or the, the very, very best one is probably Starling Bank that I use. And you can just go to an official bank cash machine and change and, and withdraw your money from official bank cash machine. But um, don't go to the blue and yellow cash machines. They're Euronet cash machines. Euronet cash machines charge you a massive, massive commission to their company for withdrawing your money. So that's one thing that um, tourists did mention to me. I'm getting lots of feedback here. I've been here for two weeks. So I'm asking the tour tourists about their experiences here. Um, another thing is Bulgaria is part of the European Union, but it's not Euros. They use Bulgarian leather here. So some tourists were confused. They were by the pool at my hotel. They bought Euros with them on holiday because it's their first time here, but it's not Euros here. It's Bulgarian leather. But don't worry, if you make that mistake, bring your euros to the bank and change your money and they'll give you a good rate to change your euros to Bulgarian lever. So in terms of understanding Bulgarian lever, here's a pub called The Place, for example, straight ahead. It's a pub with karaoke, nice place to watch the people go by. And it does get quite busy in the season as well. So let's have a look at the prices. So a Guinness, for example, is 9.9 .9 lever because that's an international beer. So it's like just less than five pounds for a pint of Guinness. Um, another beer, a Spanish beer, Australia is six lever 50, which is just over three pound 20. Um, other drinks here. What, what else can we buy here? So you can buy Jack and Cola for 16 lever, which is eight pounds. Um, vodka Red Bull for 16 lever, which is eight pounds or a Smirnoff and Cola for 10 lever for the small one, which is five pounds. Um, and you can see the sign there, it says karaoke starts eight o'clock tonight. Um, at most of these bars now, if you ask for a Bulgarian beer, 
The Bulgarian beer is half the price normally of the international beer. So whereas a Corona beer might be the same price as the Guinness, maybe it's nine or 10 lever. But if you buy a Bulgarian beer, you might want to ask for Kamenica or Zagorka or Bergasco. They're the most popular Bulgarian beers that I know about. And they will be a lower price than the international beer. So try the local beer, you know, see if you like it. And uh, when you go to a country, it's nice to try local food. If you eat local Bulgarian food, you can try food like Satch, that's Bulgarian, like a Bulgarian stew. You can try Kavana, Kavama. You can try Banitsa, which is a, a cheese pastry, like a cheese pasty. And it's best if you try local Bulgarian food because Bulgarian food is very tasty. It's good value for money. But when you buy British food, like an English breakfast here, it can be very expensive because an English breakfast here on Flower Street at the corner bar costs 22 lever, which is 11 pounds. An English breakfast at Hawaii, a very nice English breakfast, um, cost me 16 lever, which is eight pounds. But it's a lot of money, really. I mean, in my hometown, 20 minutes from Liverpool, I can buy an English breakfast, a big one for six pound 50, but I can buy the small one with one of everything for four pound 50. So in terms of buying like English food here, of course you will pay, um, you will pay a higher price. Um, so we can see all the excursions here now in the window. So you can also go to Rila Monastery as well. That's another one in the top right side. I'll just get closer and show you. You can go to Balchik to stay there as well. It's just down the coast, about one and a half, uh, about two hours down the coast to get to Balchik. But they'll pick you up for the hotel and return transports included with a tour guide, an itinerary. Um, Sozopol again here. In Varna, they have the dolphin, the dolphin show, which is at the Sea Garden. Um, on my channel, you can see my other guided tours from Varna. I've also got guided tours from Golden Sands, from Nesabar, from Sveti Blas. So you can subscribe to my channel for free at Travel with Col, with a C O L, on YouTube. And you can access all of my guided tours with my tips and recommendations, my money saving tips, and all the information you need before you come here. So on the bottom left, you've got the trip to the Bulgarian village. I recommend that because they have live Bulgarian folk music just to experience the local music and the local culture and to try real Bulgarian food. On the bottom right side, you've got the number one excursion on TripAdvisor, which is called Khan's Tent. They have acrobats on, acrobatic shows. They have a dancing show with Bulgarian dancing. Um, they've got a three course dinner with drinks included in the price. Um, you can get a return excursion from the tour shop. So they pick you up and drive you there and back and you buy the package. I think it's about 90 lever, but correct me if I'm wrong on the comments, guys. But you can also go to Khan's tent yourself and just get yourself a taxi there. Although when you get taxis here, you must negotiate on the price of the taxi. There's no Uber here. There's no bulk taxi. There's no taxi apps here at all. So you've only got street taxis. So you must negotiate with the taxi driver. He might offer you 40 lever. You offer him 25 lever and you meet at 30 lever. Always negotiate, say, I come here very often. Uh, I live here or whatever. Tell him whatever you want to get your discount and negotiate with the taxi driver to get the best possible deal. So looking in the window again now, uh, we've got the, um, the horse riding trip there on the top right side. Um, we've got the Jeep Safari there um, again. They've got three different options of this one in terms of a Jeep Safari, where you can also go fishing. You can go shooting to the shooting range on the same day. So if you're on a, on a stag party or something, you might want to do some activities along with the Safari. Um, the quad biking is great fun. Absolutely awesome. Two of my mates are here on holiday. They've been doing the quad biking yesterday and they said it was a brilliant adventure and they'll get all the videos and photographs for you as well. So it's brilliant. Now the diving one, the diving excursion, that takes place in a place called Nesabar uh, from the old town of Nesabar. And you'll be able to dive and see all kinds of fauna and all kinds of shells and different fish. I mean, I think the diving would be a good experience. Um, I've never been diving in the Black Sea, but the best place for diving in the world is actually Egypt, where you have 80% of the world's fish species are there in Egypt. I'm not sure how it will be here in the Black Sea for diving, but um, I'd certainly like to give it a go and find out. So in terms of shopping, you can buy all kinds of things here in Sunny Beach. Uh, you can buy t-shirts and bags and um, towels and 
any clothing item, shorts for the beach, swimwear, you can buy belts, you can buy wallets, you can buy everything you want, you can buy here. And they have all the different designer names. Um, you'll see, I'll just go past now and I'll show you some of the things you can buy. This one has some lovely ladies hats here. That's a nice one on the top. I might buy one for my mum as a holiday present actually. Some very elegant ladies' hats here on this stall as well. And this seaside resort is one of the best places for shopping in the whole of Europe. You can see my other guided tours to see the shopping options here in Sunny Beach because I've done some shopping tours here as well. And we have six miles of golden yellow sandy beaches. Here has some of the best beaches on the Black Sea coastline, some of the best beaches in the whole world. They are massive, massive beaches that span right down the coast. And um, there's no stones on it or anything. You don't need shoes to go on the beach here. It's, um, it's a comfortable walk here on the beach with the soft, the soft yellow sand. So you see these baskets at the front of the shops. That's where you get the promotion items and look for items with a price label on. So here we have the restaurant palace on the left side. That's below the, uh, the big palace hotel there. Uh, they do very reasonable prices at the palace hotel. And look at this lovely garden outside. And you can eat outside just there on the terrace. It's just lovely. The pool's there on the left side too. And Sunny Beach, Sunny Beach North here is a lovely location for families and for couples. It's, more, it's not for the party people because it's 25, 30 minutes walk to the city center of Sunny Beach. So it's more like for families and for couples. There's a lot of five-star hotels at this end, um, this end of the resort. Um, we've got the um, Imperial Hotel, you're gonna see in a minute coming up here on the left side. We've got the Helena Sands Hotel. The Helena Sands Hotel is one of the very best hotels here in, um, in Sunny Beach and in Bulgaria. We've also got the, um, the I Hotel. It's a very high quality four-star hotel, but maybe a five-star standard. Very, very modern and classy hotel. There's the Slavyansky Hotel. Some seasons like May, they do just over 20 pounds a night in the Slavyansky Hotel. That's a very cheap option. It's next to all the luxury options. We've got the Bellevue Hotel, where some British people stay just up there, the Bellevue. That's a three-star option in a good location, right by the beach, Frontline Beach. And the Bellevue Hotel will go for about 35 pounds a night in May or June. The best website to book hotels on is Kayak. Kayak compares the prices of all the different hotels. Also try Hotels Combined. It's a comparison site as well. You must go on a comparison site to compare all the websites. Don't be loyal to one website. Go on a comparison site and have a look on Trivago. And Trivago will compare the prices of all the hotels as well on Trivago. So, so here they're doing Shisha and two cocktails for 35 lever which is about 16 or 17 pounds. So that's the promotion today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the Slavyansky pool bar and it says happy hour all day, every day. So most of the bars here in Sunny Beach have a happy hour. You have to ask details to the public relation who stands outside the bar. They'll explain the details to you. And here they're doing cocktails for about 16 to 18 lever. So 16 lever is eight pounds for a cocktail, but you get two for one. So the cocktail is actually going to cost you about four pounds. Vodka and Coke is 13 lever, so that's about seven pounds. Gin and Coke is 12.90, so that's about six, seven pounds as well. And the same price for the rum and Coke. But this looks like a really nice place to chill out and take the sun. You've got the swimming pool behind it. And if you wanna use the pools at any of these hotels, all you have to do guys is buy one drink. And if you buy one drink, you can go in their pool. So if you're, if you're staying in an apartment that has no pool, don't worry about that, just buy one drink and then you can, um, you can use the facilities of any hotel here in Sunny Beach. So they have the shisha pipes there on the tables too, if you like shisha. And here's another shop selling all the clothes, all the designer copies and all the clothes here. Let's have a look what we can buy. 
So these tops here are Calvin Klein and Stone Island, these ones here. Um, there's no price on those ones. I don't know how much they cost, but they're normally about 35 lever in most of these shops. Some, maybe some are 25 lever, but you need to ask them the price. Um, and here's all the D squared designer shorts here for the beach. Uh, you've got off-white. You've got Hugo Boss there too. There's some pairs of Hugo Boss shorts there too. And then you've got all the t-shirts there, some by Moss Chino, Louis Vuitton, Hugo Boss. You can buy all the designer names that you want here in Sunny Beach. This is a Nike one straight ahead here. And there we've got Palm Angels. Just to show you some shopping options when you're here as well, because it's a great place for shopping. But when you come here, bring an empty suitcase and just leave lots of room to buy things when you're here, because there's so many shopping opportunities here. I mean, for ladies here, let's show you some ladies stuff as well. So you can buy all these ladies things for walking and for the beach. Even the bright colors as well, like you can see there on the left side. It's nice to give you an idea of what you can buy when you're here. So let's move on guys, let's carry on with the tour and I'll try and show you as much as possible. So there's a fast food takeaway on the right side, you get lots of these up and down the promenade. Now in terms of buying beach towels, they cost 10 lever, which is uh, about £4.50 or £5 roundabout to buy a beach towel. So don't worry, you can buy your beach towels here. They have all kinds of unusual and interesting designs of beach towels here as well. And let's get a look at the beach. So straight ahead to the left side, that's going in the direction of a town called Sveti Vlas. Sveti Vlas is well worth a day trip. It's only two level, which is one pound on the bus. The buses go every half an hour from Sunny Beach to Sveti Vlas and back the other direction, the same frequency. So I strongly recommend you get a bus up to Sveti Vlas for the day. You must go to the Marina Dinev when you're in Sveti Vlas and uh, you get the bus from Sunny Beach to Sveti Vlas on the main road which runs through the centre of the town. So you just go back from here onto the main road and there's plenty of bus stops there all along the main road. So Sveti Vlas is a bit more laid back than Sunny Beach. It's a bit more luxurious. There's some really nice fish restaurants down there and there's a lovely boat marina. You see some lovely yachts down there as well. Now going straight ahead to me is going to the south side of Sunny Beach and going to the city centre. So when you get further south down in Sunny Beach, you end up in Nessabar. There's plenty of buses from the main road going up to Nessabar and it costs you two level, which is one pound to get a bus up to Nessabar. Nessabar is one of the oldest towns in Bulgaria. It's an ancient fishing village. It's fantastic seafood there in Nessabar and there's lots of unusual bars and restaurants and lots of things to see there in Nessabar. It's also a good place for shopping there in Nessabar too. So let's carry on further north now, down here, towards the Imperial Hotel. So if you need a massage, they're doing massage here on the right side. And um, let's check the price here. You can get the back done, the neck and the shoulders for 50 lever, which is about 24 pounds. Um, you can get the whole body massage for 80 lever, which is 40 pounds. And they are famous for massage here in Bulgaria. They are very professional. Hello. Hello. Um, how long do you get the massage for? For 50 lever? 30 minutes. 30 minutes for 50? For how much? 50 lever for 30 minutes, yep. So this is the place in Sunny Beach North where you can get a massage here, right on the beach. They've got a massage bed there and these are gentlemen here that do the massage. So they have a price list outside as well and you can choose the type of massage you want. They have all different types. You can get the king's massage, the legs massage. Maybe you want to focus on the circulation in the legs. So the le legs massage is good for people who like sports, that type of thing. Or the chiropractic massage as well for 90 lever, which is about 45, 45 pounds. 
So the price lists are displayed clearly outside. Thank you very much, cheers. But in my opinion, um, Bulgaria is a wonderful country for a holiday. And I live in Poland and it's only one hour, 45 minutes for me to get from Krakow in Poland to here in uh, Sunny Beach. You can fly with Wizz Air, but the flights don't start until June, by the way. But you can fly with Ryanair as well from Poland to get here. Um, from Great Britain, most people book a package holiday with Bank Balkan holidays or with Jet2 holidays. They're the main providers of holidays. They will organize you a hotel, they will organize your flights and transfers to and from the airport as well. So with regards to getting to and from the airport, I used a website called Hopper and Hopper costs you £9.50 to get from the airport to your hotel. Um, you, can, um, you can also get a bus from the roundabout at the airport and the bus will cost you about three or four pounds for the journey and the buses come about every half an hour or every hour depending on the season that you're coming in. If you're coming in the high season, the buses are more frequent, like the high season, like July and August. And in the winter time, I believe they stop the buses during the winter time because um, this is a summer resort. So the resort kind of opens on the 1st of May, early May, and then the resorts open right through until like the start of October. But it is seasonal. I mean, tourists don't really come here in the winter time. Tourists go to other resorts in Bulgaria during the winter, like Borovets and Bansko and all the ski resorts, because Bulgaria is also very, very good value for skiing and famous for the ski resorts here. So the, um, the staff that are actually here are actually working in the ski resorts in the winter, and then they have a partner restaurant in Sunny Beach, and they work in Sunny Beach during the summertime. So that's how it generally works. In terms of Bulgarian language, it's um, Cyrillic, so it's extremely difficult for British people to learn. If you want to say thank you, just say merci. And if you want to say um, good morning, just say dobra den. So here's the shorts here as well, Hugo Boss. They've got all the names down here, so there's so many shopping options. And look, we've got 10 leather for the caps. That's a really good promotion. So that's about £4.55. Pounds, and you can get yourself one of those designer caps. Uh, think about presents for your family. Think about Christmas presents and birthday presents when you're here. And um, it's lovely to buy some nice gifts for your family and your friends when you're here on holiday. Um, they're copies, but generally the quality is quite good. Um, so these 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 um, these ones are here on Nike. These are Nike um, sandals here, and they have Tommy Hilfiger sandals there as well. I'll show you the Tommy ones close up. So you don't need to worry about packing these things because you can buy these things when you're here. Um, there's some more Nike ones, and there are those lovely ladies' hats again. They look really lovely. Those. Um, and here's some different options of caps that you can buy. And of course you can buy all the purses and the wallets and all that. So, um, hello. hello. Hi. <laughs> I'll just show them some of your purses and wallets. And yeah, yeah. yeah thanks. So, so here we have Guess, we have um, Armani. Uh, what other names do we have? Tommy Hilfiger. We have Michael Kors. They have all the names here. How much are they roughly for a, a wallet for the Between lady? 10 and 20, 11. Yeah, between 10 and 20 lev. So basically it's 50%. So 10 lev is about just less than five pounds and 20 lev is less than 10 pounds because I know many people don't understand the currency, the lev when they come here on holiday, but these are the things that you can buy. They have so many different types of designs. There's something for everybody. And they have all the caps as well in all different colors. There's Tommy, there's Prada Milano, there's Armani. And these key rings here are really nice for the cars. So for example, if you have a, a BMW, you can buy a BMW key holder here. If you have a Lexus, you can buy a Lexus one. If you have a Renault, you could buy a Renault one, but they're really nice gifts. Uh, if you're thinking about Christmas time and birthdays and that type of things, if you run out of socks when you're here, it's probably more expensive to go to the laundrette rather than buying the socks. Just buy some new socks when you're here. You can buy the ankle socks so you get the, uh, the tan on the full leg. So five pairs of socks are 10 leather, which is about four pound 50 for five pairs of socks. You've got all the names, men and for women, Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger, Fila, all the names. We've got Calvin Klein there as well. We've got Nike. 
and you can buy all the aftershaves here as well so maybe you, you couldn't pack liquids in your case or whatever but you can buy all your aftershaves hugo boss davidoff cool water smells really nice there really nice that one you've got the lacoste one at the bottom and the boxes look similar to the real ones so this is a great place like you know when you go on holiday to turkey and you buy all the copies it's the same here because these copies are actually made in turkey they're bought from turkey and imported to here so they're a very good standard because turkey makes very good clothes they're famous for the textile industry and they are very good quality and then what they do is they, they've got factories in the bulgarian countryside in the villages and they just sew on the names and um, they're very professional how they do it they're very good at sewing and they they they, they make them and put them together there so I've been very happy with the items that I bought this holiday. I bought some lovely polo t-shirts. I bought a belt. I bought a towel for my family and some gifts as well. So six leather for these necklaces here. Some nice bracelets there for ladies, girls, it's necklaces. And they are five leather, which is uh, two pound 50. So many lovely gifts that you can buy really. So if you like shopping, for sure you'll like Sunny Beach. It's um, one of the best places for shopping. Um, it's like when you go to Turkey as well, to Alanya. And to be honest with you, I think you get better value for money here, buying your things here than you do when you're in Alanya, because Alanya is a very expensive part of Turkey. Lots of wealthy Russian tourists go there. Um, right now, the situation is that uh, Russian tourists cannot enter Bulgaria right now directly by flights. That's because of the war and because Bulgaria is part of the European Union. So Russian tourists have to fly to Istanbul now and they have to change and maybe hire a car and then drive about four to six hours from Istanbul to get um, to, to get here now. Um, a lot of Ukrainian people have now moved here as well because of the war, escaping the war and all the horrible things that are happening over there. So a lot of people have moved over and uh, to escape that and are now living here. And the Ukrainian people have set up businesses here. They've set up hairdressers, they've set up restaurants. Um, they've set up nail bars doing nails and beauty and cosmetics. Um, so yeah, it's quite, you meet people here from all over the world, but the majority of tourists now are British tourists. You know, 20 years ago, it was all Russian tourists coming here, tourists coming here from the east side of Europe, like Ukraine, for example. But the majority of tourists here now are British tourists. There's lots and lots of British people here. There's British expats that own holiday homes here. There's Irish people here. You get people from so many countries living here in Sunny Beach. Now, lots of uh, Romanian people come here during the summertime. Some Turkish tourists come here because it's nearby and you get tourists coming from the center and the east of Europe, like um, Czech Republic, for example. Lots of tourists coming here from Poland. Um, in terms of um, if you really like it here, you can buy a holiday ho home here for a very reasonable price. You can buy a studio apartment in Sunny Beach for about 35 or 40,000 euros. And you can buy a one bedroom apartment or a two bedroom apartment from about 50,000 euros here in Sunny Beach. So it's good value for money but um, there's only a very short season here for about four months. When you go to Spain and the Costa del Sol, for example, or the Costa Blanca, maybe the Canary Islands, they have a big season for eight, nine months, maybe 10 months. Um, they get the winter sun as well, but here it's just for the summertime. So on the left side here, we've got the Imperial Hotel. It's a five-star luxury hotel, and it looks absolutely magnificent from the outside. The exterior is just stunning and you see all of these wonderful statues outside and it, yeah it's really impressive especially the first time you see it it's absolutely stunning um you can get that hotel right now for about 70 or 80 pounds a night in may in the low season but obviously in the high season it'll be higher like 100 pounds a night in terms of the um, hotels up here, like the Helena Sands Hotel, you're going to be paying about £100 to £140 a night, depending on what website you book on, what season you go in as well. And you've got, um, going back just behind me, you've got the DIT Evrika Beach Hotel. So you walk on, you walk on from here about 10 minutes straight, you get to the DIT, that's another five-star hotel, very luxurious, beautiful gardens at the front. And that is just a really top-end hotel. 
So you've got plenty, you've got about five, five and four star hotels down this end of town. And you've got some budget options down here as well. But um, if you want a hotel that's good value for money in the city center of Sunny Beach and very, very close to the Bar Street, Flower Street, the Action Pack Street, where all the nightlife goes on and the entertainment, you want to stay in the Diamond Hotel All Inclusive or you want to stay in the Cuban Hotel and Resort. They are the best two located hotels. You've also got the Hotel Alba, which is right by the Bar Street as well. So if you're on a party holiday with the boys or the girls, that's where you want to be staying because taxis are very, very expensive here. Uh, there's only street taxis and they ask you for a very high amount of money. I met some people that were going back to the Havana Palace from the Strip and they said the taxi driver asked them for 40 lever, which is 20 pounds. And it's just um, completely overcharging them. I mean, here in the east side of Europe and the center of Europe, I live in Poland and a taxi costs me about three pounds and I can go anywhere in Krakow for three or four pounds. So if you compare it, the taxis here are really so expensive. Uh, I met some other tourists a few days ago who got a taxi and they said they got a taxi two miles with a taxi company that they know and they've used regularly and they paid 15 level, which is um, £7.50. Hey boys! Uh, £7.50 for a short two mile journey. So that's how much taxis cost you. Some of them just ask you for anything they want. And so avoid using taxis, try to use buses when you're here or ask a local for um, if they know somebody who drives here or a taxi company locally, a cheaper company and always ask locals for um, advice with regards to taxis and everything. So guys, um, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today and please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L. And guys, it does help the channel if you give likes and if you give some comments, if you have any recommendations of things to see and do, or if you have any suggestions or any input, please make that on comments. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye-bye.